What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Robert A1EDU. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change your mechanical lock to a keypad so that you can go from this to this. Let's get into the video and figure out how to do it. Come on. That's right, lock swap time. So I'm gonna show you how to take your mechanical lock off of your existing safe and put on the new keypad. And yes, I'm gonna take you through the whole thing, so stay through to, to the end. Uh, we have these locks for sale on our website, a1locksmith.shop. Should be a link in the description. But you will need three very specific tools for this job. Here we go, let's label them out now. We will use a small screwdriver we will use something like pliers or wire cutters or something of the nature as such. And uh, me, I prefer to use the uh, cordless drill. Um, be careful with it and I'll tell you why in a minute. But so like I said, stay tuned to the end. I'm actually gonna do this whole thing, start to finish, see what it looks like when I'm done. Ready, go. All right, here we go. First tool, small screwdriver. Uh, this particular safe may not look exactly like yours, but these are definitely things to look for. Uh, these caps right here, we've already popped this one off. I don't know if it's in the frame or not, but there is a screw being exposed right now. This is the same type of screw, it just has a little black plastic cap over it. That's what your uh, small screwdriver's for. I like to put it right there behind the cap so that I can gently, oh so gently, pry out without hurting it, and then I explode, expose Excuse me, the screw. Set that off to the side. Let's do the same over here. And then we're always gonna take a couple extra seconds just to make sure we don't miss one of these uh, caps, that is. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, oh no, it won't come off, why not? So, in this particular model, I don't see any more here. I don't see any across the bottom. I think we're good to go. We are now completed. We're now uh, done with our regular screwdriver. So, the reason why I said be careful with a cordless drill um, is because these are, in most all cases, they're gonna be a, a self-tapper screw. And so you go too fast in and out, you could waller your hole out. So we're just gonna very gently, low speed, back that out. Might be loud on my mic, I'm sorry. I didn't think about that. Let's do it again down here. Nice and gentle. There we go. And then, we got two to go. You're doing great, stay with me. Onesie and the twosie. So we are making this video because yeah, we get asked about this a lot. And I understand that if I'm not in your area, I can't come do this job for you, but you still want to get it done. This is how, right? Uh, folks in our area don't mind calling us out because there are a few steps here and hey man, I get it. Not everybody is mechanically inclined, so they have us come out and do it for them. Let's just set this off here to the side because we want to be gentle with it and not damage it. It's a very expensive piece. So bolt work is usually all the same. So at this point, what I always strongly recommend is that you throw the bolts out to the locked position so that everything is out of your way as far as the lock itself. So in case you didn't know, just real quick, how these things lock and unlock is that there's a bolt right there. It goes up and down right here, not allowing all this mechanism to move. Pretty simple, right? And we always talk about the booby trap, the mouse trap, so that uh, if you were to bang and knock this thing off the lock itself, again, this big half inch piece, of, a half inch thick piece of steel that's three inches long is set up just like a mouse trap. Look at this, got a big old spring on it to where if I move that guy around too much, it'll fire out of position, okay? So those are the couple of things that you're really looking for right now. So let's go with what we see. Two screws on the back of our lock body. Could be mildly different on yours. There could be where this is a solid plate holding up our mouse trap, our external relocker. Uh, you could have one there, it's just a body, just still has the two screws, but maybe there's an additional plate over the top of this that's going over to hold that up. So it's the exact same thing, don't overthink it. So. This is what I prefer to do as a locksmith. This thing is a big, heavy metal spring that if I let it go, it's gonna fire, it's gonna come down here and then it's hard to pick back up later. 
What I like to do is I like to reach here right now, lift it up. Now it's sitting on this plate, this little pedestal, and he's out of the way. Now, super important. Can I get like one of those zoom in things? Super important. important. That has to go back when you're done. If you don't set up the mouse trap properly, you're gonna get locked out. Don't do that. Here we go. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Cause I don't want you to overthink it or over, over worry about it, just don't do it, okay? Two screws. Because I moved the mouse trap out of the way now, ta -da. the mouse trap stays where I left it. Back plate is off, two screws are off. What do we find? The inside of our lock body. Again, because we're getting a little nerdy and I can't help it, I'm a locksmith, that's what I do for a living. This was called our external relocker on the outside of it. The lock itself, there's an internal relocker as well, another booby trap that somebody could set off and again, lock this thing down. So excuse me, so that they can't get in. Now, we still need this guy because there are one, two, or girl, or them, this tool. We still need this tool because there are one, two, three, four screws inside of here that we need to get. Um, and then there is uh, um, one more piece that we're gonna need to remove. And that's where our pliers and or wire cutters or something like that will come into play. Um, eh, it really doesn't matter too much. We'll go ahead, grab our pliers real quick and give your hand a break from that big heavy drill, I'm sorry. Uh, with these right here in the middle, there's something called a spline key. There will be no test at the end of this quiz, but you might as well learn it because you're here. The spline key right here, he needs to come out next, okay? So important not to break this piece off or anything. So just simply get your pliers a good bite on it. And then let me stop there. I barely grabbed it, pinched it, and I pulled it out a little bit, just so hopefully you could see that a little bit, that little bit of movement that was happened so far. Go ahead and grab it and pull it out the rest of the way. This one came out nice for us. This is the spline key. And again, if you use your pliers too hard or whatever, you can cut this thing and break it and then it's kind of stuck in there and then it's harder to get out. It's not impossible, it's just harder. So again, when we make these videos and we're helping you understand how to do this, your mechanical uh, capabilities, I don't know them, that's up to you. So if, if I'm already too far into it and you're like, man, I don't know, don't, just stop, okay? Here we go. I don't know where I did that piece, there it is. Okay, I'll put the pliers down. Um, no, 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 sorry. Because we took that piece out, now we can actually take the dial off the front of it. Can you see this right here? Then I will walk over here and I will not take this off because I need to get my key because I have locked my dial into place. So while I wait for somebody to go find me a key and come back to me, I'm gonna continue to take the screws off on the back side. Here we go. Let's do that. Because it's not a necessity of steps, honestly, personally, because it doesn't matter, we're just taking it off. Now, screws on the inside, here we go. There were four of those. One. Two. Three, again, not too fast, not too hard. You don't want to ever strip out screws on this steel because it's going to be really hard to re-thread or find the perfect screw or tighten everything back down when you're done later. So you don't want to do that. Um, let me see. Yeah. Pink. There's one more in there. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Here we go. And... Hey, look, I found some keys. All right. Now, back to the front. Day lock is what they call that. Keeps the dial from moving, but I don't need it right now. So now we're going to unthread it because this is actually screwed into that piece that you just heard fall. <laughs> That's right on cue, you're welcome. So that piece that you heard fall was the piece that was, let's just, hold on. Okay, the piece that you heard fall. That's where that spline key came out of. So just real quick, I'm not gonna harp or spend too long on it. 
This thing was in there at a certain position. This blind key was holding it in place so that you could, sorry. Good. So this blind key went into that groove so that you could lock in and tighten it down and hold it in place. So when we took this blind key out, we needed to unscrew it from that position so that we could pull it off the front. Now, you're almost completely done. You're doing great. You've got two more screws that need to come off. So back to your uh, screw gun, and let's see what those are. I don't know that you can see these from there, but I'm gonna try. Can you see my two screws on the camera right now? Perfect. Those two screws are the last thing. Again, we don't wanna use a lot of power with our cordless driller. Um, I do prefer to do this by hand, to be honest with you, but for a sense of time, we're doing it with this. So again, if you're gonna use the cordless, that's fine, but just low speed, put it in there, um, just kinda break it free. Nope, nope. See, I'm using a light pressure because I'm afraid to push. There you go. These are super fine thread and we're gonna reuse all these holes pretty much. So I don't wanna go crazy uh, with going too fast and spinning out and all that. Ta-da! You have, well, you can see it. You have officially removed the mechanical lock. On to the next. In all honesty, if you go to my site, or if you buy one online, whatever, um, you'll get a lock in the mail, something like this. And I think you'll find it's even quicker and easier to put in than what you just took off. That was the hard part, personally. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy here, but can you see the top of the thing? Uh, nine volt battery, brand new lock body, and of course, screws, and da, 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 the new keypad. Now, one thing I'm not gonna do in this particular video, but we have it in our catalog for you, um, how to program, how to do all that. That's all gonna be there. When you plug this in, by the way, when you're done, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six to open it. There are uh, instructions that come with it and paperwork and things of that nature. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot the relocker plate. We're gonna need that. But anyway, we have videos on how to do all the programming. This one is specifically just how to take it on, take it off. Otherwise, it would be an hour long video. Let's slap it on. What do we want to do first? First, we want to reach into our bag of goodies and retrieve our screws for the front of the safe. Now, those will be, I'm gonna do one of those, walk up to the camera and show you pictures of the screw shots. You ready? These are the screws for the front of the safe. Find these and come with me. Let's put them on. As always, light pressure. Do not run these like a crazy person and strip them out. They are fine threaded, but they go in the top and the center hole. So that would be the 12 o'clock and the six o'clock hole. You'll notice my exceptionally slow speed. That's intentional. You notice we're doing this all in one shot because I don't want you to think that there's movie magic to this. Guys and gals, this is a fairly simple in and out process that I think uh, I'm taking enough time to show you exactly and I'm talking you through this because we're doing it together. I'm just tightening these down by hand is all I'm doing right there. These don't have to be, again, don't crank on these things, don't ruin them, but snug them. As they say, just snug them down. But seriously, we're doing this in real time, which might be a little different than somebody else's cool, super edited, awesome, whatever video. Uh, there's no reason for that. Let's just see how it looks and what it takes. Cause this should take us, I'm guessing about 20 minutes. And that's with me slowing down and talking to you right now. Speaking of which, Monsh. Yeah, Monsoor, what is my time, sir? Oh, okay. So like I said, about 20 minutes. So plug, lock, this is the top, <laughs> just in case. So there are two spots here on the back, the top and the bottom, big hole, little hole, right? So you can put it on the big hole and then pull down onto the little hole. If that doesn't make sense, then watch me do it and maybe it will. Again, feed it through slow and gently. 
line her up. Right there, it's lined up. And then just a little tap, tap. So we started with the big hole. We popped down into our little hole. I'm sure there's a perfectly scientific word for that, but I don't know what it is, I'm sorry. All right, inside, now who do we got? We got a wire. We will need our lock body. Lock body has a female plug-in on the top of it. Um, so this is what's called a swing bolt. This bolt will swing inside of itself, hence the curvature. This bolt will swing inside of itself. That's how you know you want to be. So when we put this on, so when you're looking at yours, oh my God, how does it go on there? Very simple, make it swing. Meaning put it on there. And so this piece has to come back, right? So make sure that it's pushing against the flat piece and that the bolt will swing inside of itself. Make sense? Uh, for this, we have three screws. Again, I want this to be a 20 minute video, but I don't want to rush it. At the same time, I want you to get fully educated. Of course, ask questions in the comment section, do all that. Heck, call me. You guys have been doing that a lot lately, actually. Um, which is awesome. I guess that means we're helping. Make sure your bolts are all the way up. That's what I was doing wrong there. Make sure you don't pinch that cable. It's a flat cable, it's a ribbon cable, so that it can lay perfectly flat in any position or however you need to move it. So don't pinch it, no reason. We're gonna work a screw into the hole, and then all you're doing is, because you can do it, you can pull it up a little bit and you can see where it is, so you can just start it very gently. Again, don't cross thread these either. Just get them started a little bit and then work the rest of them. I'm pretty big by telling my locksmiths when I'm training them, hey man, do it by hand. Get it started by hand before you get it caught and cross threaded and the man that uh, taught me how to use tools and how to fix things growing up. The guy is basically my father. He had to teach me that lesson young because I was bad about doing it. Don't do it. So right there. I literally just started all three of them by hand, just kind of worked them in a little bit. So from there, quickly, tuck it, tuck it down. Tuck it, snug them down, snug them down, and snug it down. No, I didn't snug it down enough. So now I'm gonna put two hands on it. A little extra turn, nothing crazy. Same, oh, that one gave me a bunch of turns. A little bit extra, and a little bit extra. These two screws right here need to come out. Do them slowly, do them efficiently. Also, I'll say it right now, sorry, before I forget, uh, take a picture of your lock information in case you ever need it. Take a picture of that stored in the cloud. Your stickers on the back here, just snap a picture of the barcode. There's another one on the side, I didn't take a picture of that, I'm sorry. Snap a picture of that. And, idiot, wrong one. <laughs> Screw number one followed by, guess what? Screw number two. That's right, you got it. Those are out. The reason why we took those out is because we need to install our relocker plate, external relocker plate. Remember the last, the first lock we took off, this was kind of like built into the back of it. Well, like I said, you may have this already on yours that you took off. We'll reuse it. It'll line up into those screw holes and it'll hold it up. It did come with some washers. However, nope, we don't need them on this one. You don't need the washers. The washers could be used on this, those three screws, but again, if you can put them down without tightening it and hurting it, you're okay. So I'm gonna set these on here, kind of see where they want to line up. Where am I at on time? 18, 19, nah. I'm going a little over for you kids, I really am. But again, this is a absolute clear, how do I do it video. Like I feel like if you watch, and you ask questions and you take your time. I think you're gonna, I think you can do this. So right here, same thing, right? I'm just running them in by hand. I don't need to overdo them. I don't need to go crazy. I'm gonna come back with my screwdriver. It might be a lot easier for you to grab a Phillips screwdriver where I keep using this regular. And same thing, crank, crank, and crank, crank. Again, you want them snug so that nothing on here is ever going to move. We don't want to crank them down. So check this out. Your external relocker, don't forget about it. Super important. One more time. Super important. Here we go. Put it back in place. So it is being held up by that plate that you just put on. And you did a great job, by the way. Now that it doesn't go down. 
Take your plug, plug it in, plug it in. Right, there's that. And now, da 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 da. Battery, right here, I'm sorry. I don't wanna break, I don't wanna scratch the paint. Can you see me? Right here, here is our battery tray. And now, Positive, it's got a little marker here. I'm just looking to make sure I do it right. Positive. Now you can grab it, put it back right where you just took it out from. That's how you change your battery. Got a beep. Are you ready? Can you see that bolt right here? Let's see if it worked. What I tell you the code was, kids. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. You know what I'm doing right there? You see it? All right. You did it. You did it, not me, stop, that was you. That is how you go from a mechanical to a keypad. Again, it took me about 21-ish, 22 minutes, talking to you, taking my time, going back and forth, yada, yada. It's not that bad. Watch the video again, watch it one more time after that, I think you can do it. If not, stop. Don't try in case you're worried about locking up. Call. We've got a slew of uh, locksmiths ready to come assist you. And if not, I'll tell you where the one is in your state or your area, okay? Um, I'm gonna put this thing back together, finish it up, button it up. Again, like, subscribe, follow along. And if you have any questions, I'm serious, while you're doing it, go ahead and put it in the comment section. Yes? Yes. I will see you. Did you see my shirt? I'm sorry, I gotta say it every time. It's really cool, right? A18. Like, follow, subscribe, and I will see you on the very next video. Thanks for watching, guys.